Hello, MacWarriors! How's it going? And welcome to another episode of MacWarrior Online, where we are playing the Cicada today. I wanted to play a mech that is fast-moving and that has some range, and we are taking the Cicada 3C today because it is a very challenging mech to play. It's not super easy to play, but I wanted to put myself up to the challenge because I wanted to, you know, just have some fun on the battlefield with a mech that is uh, not seen that often. The Cicada 3C here only has one energy hardpoint and four ballistics, and as you can see, we are running some machine guns and a PPC, but before before we dive into the build, I want to show you what makes the mech so interesting. So we're going to quickly go to the store here and here you can see we have the Cicada 3C without any skills attached and the quirks tell us that we have an energy cooldown quirk of 20%, we have an energy heat quirk of 10, no 15%, ER PPC heat generation negative 10, so that is a negative 25 on that, ER PPC velocity 30% as well as some structural quirks. So that one PPC that we have here. It fires fast and it fires often and uh, again the velocity is actually quite good. And with the skills attached on top of it and a targeted computer, we actually have a projectile speed of 2700.55, 2755 meters per second or whatever that kind of uh, unit is that they are putting up here. It's fast guys. So we are into kind of a point and click adventure. We're gonna aim at our targets and just shoot. We don't need to lead our shots so much unless we are fighting at our, I would say, optimal distance or beyond. And that makes the mech quite fun to play. It's also fast with our XL Engine 300 here. Gets us to 130 kph. I would say you don't need anything more than that, but I will give you a little bit of a variation if you really want to. I'm also taking regular machine guns here because they, I think they are kind of in a in a nice bracket between uh, range and uh, firepower. Of course, you could also play this with heavy machine guns or light machine guns if you prefer either more damage or more range, but I think I'm gonna go with the middle ground here. I also have an AMS because we have enough room for it. The thing is, with the single PPC and all the quirks we have here, we don't really need that much cooling. Even those two double heat sinks are just convenience. And um, I didn't know what else to put into the mech. So you could just basically drop them, put a bigger targeting computer in here, or uh, drop the AMS, put a bigger targeting computer in here. You have options, that's what I'm saying. You can also drop all of the support systems all together. The targeting computer, the AMS, the double heat sinks, because again, you can go without it and then you go for something like a bigger engine. The 340 is possible if you drop some ammo from the arms, for example, if you drop this half ton of ammo. You can, you can really get there. Actually, that's what I would do here. So, again, this mech is... It doesn't have too many basic build options, but the one build that I'm showing you today, it has a lot of variations, depending on your favorite playstyle. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm having this double heatsink here on the side and not in the center, um, it's because I wanted to crit pad. So whenever I'm open and I have no armor on that position anymore, then of course my machine guns could get crit, that means they could get destroyed, and therefore I put a double heatsink in here that um, might soak some critical damage up and is getting destroyed before the machine gun. That's why I'm doing it. Other than that, pretty straightforward, guys. We are a skirmisher, we are a harasser. This is kind of our job on the battlefield, and we want to shoot at about 800, 600 meters, stay out of the fights mostly, and in the late game, we can come in and shoot the machine guns to get the kills. We have invested into firepower quite heavily because I wanted to squeeze a lot of cooldown out of this tree, as well as more velocity. So again, we have that point-and-click nature of the build. I also went for one point of magazine capacity, and that's mostly because I wanted to go down here to get more cooldown cooldown and velocity nodes. It's not needed, but it's the, the thing that makes the most sense to get to the three nodes, which are easily accessible. On top of that, we have a good chunk of heat gen that is honestly not really needed, so you could take them out, save five points, and go for something else, like more armor if you like, something like that. Gets a bit more skeletal density, and you have a bit more defense. But as you can see, we got the survivability tree on the left side here, getting a bit of extra armor and having a good time with that. What I do want, however, is Heartbreak, Kinetic Burst and Anchor Turn. On top of that, a bit of Speed Tweak so we move faster and we can uh, take sharper corners. That is it. We are skipping operations altogether because we only have that single PPC that is heavily quirked against Energy Heat. We also have 60% rate of deprivation for popping back up and down so enemies lose locks as soon as we do that. And since, again, we don't need any cool shots, we go for double utility today. Double UAV and double Artillery Strike. 
And that's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming right now. As always, if you have that, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alrighty, first game of the day. We are playing the Hyper Null Rift and we are playing Soul. So let's try to get on the high ground somehow. Is this ramp possible? Wiggling my, yep, wiggling my way up. It is definitely possible, so it worked. Now, we are in a point and click adventure. That means uh, we have a great velocity. And with that, we can just aim at our targets and click the button and then our PPC will just hit. This is just absolutely incredible here. So let's check it out. We're gonna go over here, we're gonna point and click, and hopefully we are not getting shot in return, which we certainly will, but that's okay. So waiting for this guy again, point and click, again, trying to get some early damage out currently. Ooh, that was a miss actually. What? Uh, and this Ducker Mad Cat is giving me some hell. So yeah, let's move around and, and try to find another angle, try to find team, co team cohesion, and uh oh. Does he know? I mean, he is a, he's a sniper as well. And uh, I have a better rate of fire, but he has more PPCs at its disposal. Oh, and we are dodging back to cover. So enemies should be coming up now from this area. Cool. I'm gonna drop an Arty Strike right there. So that some people might get hurt. Ah, he pulled back. No. I was hoping... Actually, my Arty Strike did some damage. I was hoping that the summoner was pushing forward a bit more. But it's okay. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, hello. Hello, Mad Cat, and hello, wherever that is. Ah, damn it. I overestimated my velocity here, so we actually have to lead our shots at that distance a bit more. And it's pretty good. We have a very good spot up here. We're gonna go to the left because enemies will try to get from uh, up from the ramp here. Let's also take cover because that's always good. <laughs> Strike on the Fatmi. He's not aware at all. <laughs> oh, man. But it, it was too late to actually say something. Oh, hello, Mr. Corsair. Actually, I want to drop a strike on you as well. Uh-huh. Okay. Just very briefly exposing ourselves. And we're gonna deal 10 damage at a time. It's not much. Especially when we miss. But uh, it is damage, again, over time that we can deal. And especially when we hit the back of that urban mech. Multiple times. And we have a good, good time on the battlefield. A little bit too high on that position. Oh, that push is gonna hurt. That push is gonna hurt so much. Also, there's my friend, the Mad Cat, still. How's he doing? I think we're gonna harass him a bit more. Maybe we can actually make that side also critical enough to help out. Bit of a higher position here, so we can hit the Mauler. Hello, Mauler. Hit him. Missile's coming? All right. Um, and then we're gonna help out here. Yeah. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, catapult. No! Ugh, so many targets. I should probably just be able to just hold into that. And again, every single shot needs to count in this position here. We are losing the fight on the left side horribly, though. That's not great. That is really, really bad, actually. So, again, it's just the single PPC that we can shoot currently. Also, um, I do believe the Vapor Eagle is now lagged. I think so, yeah. Uh, Hunchback. Yeah, we got the kill. <laughs> nice. Actually, we are winning this fight again. Okay, so far we couldn't really get our, um, our machine guns into the fight. Ah, uh, there's a PPC shooter as well. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's move. The enemies are closing in on us. I need to change position. I am actually... I just realized that I got into the, the sniper disease, being too focused on what's in front of me and not enough focused on my, my defense in the current situation. I really want to brawl with that champion. At the same time, I don't want to. I don't know his status yet, how damaged he actually is. Okay. Hey, Irby. Okay. Hey, Summoner. Seven and four. I think it's time to actually go in. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to find the champion. There he is. I, again, I wonder how damaged he is. I mean, I'm fresh. Oh, hey, Orby. He's shut down. Mm, and I'm kind of getting damaged by Mr. Dude Guy here. That's not good. Hey, Orby. A couple machine guns. What do you got? Medium pulse lasers. Jump down. Got him. Cool. And now we're gonna go for Mr. Champion and whatever light mag that is here. I'm gonna pop a UAV. I want to see what's going on around us. Oh, hello. Oh, yes. Let's go. Oh, you mean He's so critical. Like that, uh... He's so critical. He's one shot, guys. Come on. Machine gun. Ah, damn it. Too late. <laughs> yeah. Now it's... Uh, yeah, we're gonna go for his legs. They are 100%. I'm sorry. Hello. Goodbye. Um, behind him. Gonna try to pin him down so he cannot go anywhere. And 
I'm gonna try to take the second leg. Very good follow-up from Fear the Paladin there. He saw the weak spot and he was going for it as well. Nice! So, last guy is a Dire Wolf who is not able to run anywhere because he, you know, he's too slow. He lost his side torso. And he's getting swarmed by everybody. The big question is, can we get another shot on him? Let's see. No, we can't. But in general, that was a good game. I wonder how much damage I dealt. So... I am thinking about 450, 500 maybe, something along those lines. And uh, I mean, we hit one artillery strike, that was quite okay. We got 500 damage, yeah, exactly. So two killing blows, we got nine assists, one kill most damage dealt, 120 taken, five components destroyed. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game of the day. We are playing HPG Manifold. We are playing Lucky Eye Shooting. Let's go with that. And I would say um, we're gonna stay a little while on the left side because this is the side where our enemy are coming from we might be able to shoot them and uh, even hit them so let's check it out uh gotta get a good reaction here three two one no enemies so far i'm also pushing myself back and forth a little bit so i always have a bit of momentum going nobody oh wait i wanted to say nobody's coming but the lucky eye shot gave him away so there are certainly some medium lasers Boop. hello <laughs> all right oh that's that's ducker that's a ducker mad cat I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna shoot, I'm gonna hit, and right now, there's a Fafni, okay, good to know. And then there is a Dire Wolf. Always trying to dodge the fire, guys, it's so important, and at this point, I think we gotta go. Alrighty. So we're gonna try to stick to low ground, we're gonna try to meet with the team, and if those guys are trying to hunt me, um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I just die, I guess. <laughs> Took a lot of damage from that Daka Vel uh, Selvo there. I'm gonna drop Arty Strike there, though. And uh, possibly a ULV? Uh, no, I don't think it's time yet. Now, um, we're gonna go to the right side because I want to stay away from uh, the big, big... Uh, yeah, the big, big... Ooh, the thing. The big, big thing, you know? <laughs> Cannot speak today, I'm sorry. <laughs> from the main force. So, currently, you say they have top? Oh, they have. Okay. So... I do believe the Fafni is gonna be my main target here. Although I can quickly hit the Cicada. Oh, 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 here comes the Faf. All right. So I want to keep his ECM down. So my friends are hopefully prioritizing this guy. Because uh, they see him on the battlefield. And I cannot shoot my machine guns here. Not even... Oh, ooh, uh, sorry. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I just wanted to intimidate him. Also, boop, artillery strike out again. Stay on the Fafni. The Fafni is half down. Uh, stay on the left side of the Fafni if you can. Okay, okay, okay. So here's the Mad Cat. I'm gonna push over now because team is pushing over. Wow. That was a big hit. What? What? Adi? I don't know. Holy crap. My mech is almost gone. Wow. 70% is left. Um, also, I'm kind of getting stuck on my friends here. So let's move around completely. So I'm a little bit more independent from the team. Also, I do hope nobody is kind of following me on the ramp. Oh man, this is gonna be so I dangerous. I some dudes, so maybe you can push mm. him now. What's that? What's that Tribuchi? What's, what's he doing? Acquire. What was that? Mad Cat Mark II, that's him again. Okay, I'm gonna go for Mr. Mr. Dude here. Hello, Thunderbolt. Ah, uh, the problem is I have to stick to him with my machine guns and I have to face him down. So that's not the best choice to make here. Actually, that's good. Oh yeah, we are in the flank, completely uncontested. And we have friends around us, so perfect. Let's uh, position ourselves and then kill him. Perfect. So, Thunderbolt. Uh, yeah, that's a, gonna be a push. That's gonna be definitely a push here. Uh, there are people right next to us on the other side. Echo 4, I saw them earlier. I want that guy. I want him so bad. Let's go for it. Uh, okay, pulses. Ooh, pulses. Not great. Uh, but again, we have friends dropping right in front of us. And we have the machine guns to help us out. Destroying his weapon systems. Next uh, up is uh, gonna be this here... Hellbringer, he's almost down, so we're gonna definitely push him. This is gonna be hopefully a kill for us and not against us. I wonder if I should go for his legs there. All right, let's see. Okay, there's one. Dodged the return fire, pushing through this time. Pinned him down. Swap it. Twist it. Kill him. Perfect. That was a lot of damage, honestly. All right, so he actually had a good aim on me. But we can just use um, depth of field to stay behind and shoot from second line at this point. Okay, another one. I cannot see through here. I'm just shooting on sensors right now. There's my friend the Fafni again. I want to get him. Uh, this is something personal at this point. I started shooting him early on and now it's about... Nope, he's dead. Never mind. Left leg critical? Okay. So, let's get some criticals on here. 
Get that thunderbolt down. It's another medium laser build. Hey, we got the kill even. Oh, machine guns, baby. And last guy is the wolf hunt. We're gonna drop here. Uh, can my legs sustain this? Are we even dropping here? Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. Hello. I'm right behind you, buddy. I'm in front of you, buddy. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> that was maybe a little bit too early. I should have waited for him to come out and then drop behind him. But I guess that's how it goes here. I was too confident. I was overconfident. But okay. I mean, the game is over, basically. So I could take that risky move without a problem. We are 10 and 6. And now it's on my friends to actually get it done. This Wolfhound is about to drop. And then there's one more target on the board in Delta 5, as you can see here on the minimap. So let's switch to another perspective. I do believe he's in the low... Yeah. Yeah, he's in the basement, right? Is he? Oh, let's check it out, guys. Somebody is somewhere. But so far, we don't know what it is. I mean, he was kind of here-ish. And he didn't move that far, uh, that, that fast, even. So I believe it's gonna be a meteor mech or something? I don't know. We'll check it out. We certainly do not have any low signal on the board. So it is, um, it is certainly something without stealth or ECM. And that means that my friend should be able to get this dude, whatever it is. Currently, he's out of the circle. Interesting. Does he still want to engage? Is he doing some hit and run? Or does he want to disengage to save his kill-death ratio? Here's the answer. It's a cicada with two large pulses. And he's getting destroyed. Ahem. He's getting uh, destroyed. There we go. Tango down. Nice one, everybody. That was a good game. I really enjoyed that. I mean, the early damage that I took there... I could have actually survived this year if I wasn't getting too much damage from the Mad Cat early on. And then the, the, the second thing, when I was dropping to 70%, I do believe it was a strike because it hit everywhere. But nonetheless, we got a killing blow. We got two kill most damage dealt and 525 damage done with 371 taken and three components destroyed. Actually, let's take a look real quick. How much... Uh, 12 missiles. Okay, never mind. That was it for today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then don't forget to leave a rating. Click that like button, everybody. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell. Leave a comment. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.